Hello and welcome back. Here we are with part 26 on our Iggy Island expansion journey. And I'd like to thank you for being here as it means a lot having your continued support. I hope you enjoy your stay. the samurai who freed us from Fort Sakai. Never thought I'd see the day. Jin from Yarikawa. You outdid yourself this time. My men returned safely, and Fort Sakai is in our hands. We finally have a fighting chance against the Eagle. Any news on her whereabouts? Not yet, but I did learn something. While you were busy, my scouts recovered orders the Eagle sent to her shamans. It sounds like she wants to capture a samurai. Did she name them? No, but I think we can guess who she's hunting. What I want to know is, why does she want to take you in alive? The eagle captured me when I first arrived. I escaped. But maybe she wants to finish what she started. What aren't you telling me, samurai? Fune, Jin, we were searching for the eagle. Lost her, but then we stumbled on one of her patrols. Tracked them all the way back here. The cliffs outside are crawling with Mongols. We had to sneak back in to avoid being seen. The eagle knows we're close. She's going to find us. Hmm. She's retaliating. This is payback for her warship. And the death of her lapdog, Kumbish. We can evacuate to the ship. Abandon your home now and you'll lose it forever. You'd rather die here? We could draw them away from the refuge. Fight them on land. They outnumber us. So do the samurai. You know the terrain better. What about an ambush? Somewhere we have the advantage. Kita for the village. We have a plan? Round everyone up, Tenzo. We need to go now. I sent scouts ahead of us. They'll lure the Eagle's forces to Kita for the village. I've got people preparing an ambush. What about the people who live there? It was abandoned. After the butcher of Iki destroyed it. Your father put the entire village to the sword. And you did nothing to stop him. The lookout tower. We got a good view up there. Our scouts will go to Mongols here. We can't be sure where exactly they'll come from. Get people in the most likely places. A few of us on horses can hold back. And respond where we need it. Like stopping a wildfire. We need to cover a lot of ground. Where should we position the men? Place them among your father's innocent victims. The tree line. Station people there to keep watch. If they see something, they can signal us with those fireworks we took from the ship. Uh, set them off the moment your people see the invaders. Then we ride in. Mm. Hide people in those houses and granaries. Where your father's victims hid. Terrified and weeping. And if the Mongols don't get close? Have riders ready to hit their flank. Force them in range. What would you do there? The moment the villagers saw your father's men approach, they knew they would do. That was where they fell back. What? Who fell back? Um, where we could fall back. If we're overwhelmed. We'll reinforce it with whatever we can throw together. Get everyone in position. We'll hang back for now. They don't know the horror your father inflicted here. The horror you failed to prevent. Ride to your posts. Signal when you spot the invaders. You said that was where they fell back. You were here, when your father massacred the village. It wasn't a massacre. What do you call armed men slaughtering an unarmed village? A village hiding armed fighters. And their families. The people who lived here ambushed our patrols, set traps that maimed and killed our warriors, slit their throats while they slept. What did you expect? You came here to kill us! A friend of mine grew up in this village. After the samurai left, I found his body. But it took me a week to find his head in all the mud. I'm sorry, Tenzo. 
You're sorry. Do you have any idea what it's like to find your friend like that? Do you know how many lives your father destroyed? Too many. If I could change that, I would. But you didn't. Others had to end his cruelty. And I watched him die. I could have saved him. But I didn't. Why not? They're here. Get to the horses. They're coming. Get ready. They're attacking! Enzo! Jin! With me! Strike hard and fast! If the Mongols overrun us, we'll fall back here. The group will stay to bolster these defenses. Fighting on the side of your father's kings. What would he say? Easy pickings, right, Jin? A good start. Fireworks! More Mongols on the way! Mount up! Let's go! This is just like the old days. She's enjoying herself, remembering how they slaughtered the Samu. Quickly! Let's ready a welcome for the Mongols. There's a few drops of black powder on those carts. You've been busy. Here they come! Aim for the barrels!
That's the last of them. We held them off. Now. You'll never forget the sight. So much blood. The ground was soaked in it. Devastation all around you. Look what Kazuma Sasakai did. The butcher of Iki. Quiet. More fireworks to the west. Can't keep this up forever. Let's go. Feeling all right? Yes. Keep moving. Rune, you think the fallback defenses are ready? Our people need more time. We'll hold back the invaders as long as we can. Hold up. We had lookouts posted here. I don't see them. Might be an ambush. Let's take a closer look. They've captured the lookouts. Hang back. I can sneak in. Surprise the Mongols. Tie the men. Never should have split up. You'll be free soon. I thought I was dead. Thank you. All fireworks on all sides. The Eagle Tribe's making its move. There are too many of them, and we're spread thin. We're out of time. Everyone, get to the horses. Retreat to the tower. We'll face them there. Lead the way, Samurai. Fall back. Fall back! Time for now. Defenses are ready. Hold the invaders here. We may come up.
Reinforcements on the way! Kill them all! Push them back! Smash the invaders! For Iki! For Iki! May your death benefit all beings. Jin? May your death benefit all beings. I've heard that before. From my father's killer. You're hearing things. It's the ego's poison. Say the prayer for yourself before I end your life. Do it. On this blood-soaked ground where your father massacred hundreds. He was trying to save lives. You knew who I was, what you did to my father. You lied to my face. You lied to yourself. Your father was my enemy, not you. <laughs> How did someone so worthless defeat Kazuma Sasakai? I don't know. But luck! He slaughtered dozens of us before we brought him down. Broke his leg, I think. All I did was finish the job. Get on with it, Samurai! Not yet. You killed my father by luring us into an ambush at Senjo Gorge. That's how we're going to kill the Eagle. We need more than the two of us. Talk to Fune. And meet me near the canyons. We can't hide who you are anymore. But if I tell Fune... Do it. Tell her I'm Jin Sakai. She knows I fight for Iki. My actions prove it. Tell her... I am not my father. If I was, you would be dead.
Ghost of Iki, they call him. I'll take him over a dozen samurai any day. The ghost will help us. I hear he killed a thousand Mongols with that old Shimura bastard slung over his shoulder. <clears throat> yes? Those stories, they're not entirely true. Of course they are. You must have heard some good ones about the ghost. I didn't hear the tales. I lived them. <laughs> good one. If you want to help his fight, the ghost of Iki is asking for donations. We leave our offerings at his camp, northeast of where Kidafure village used to stand. If you're taking food, he likes his sake filtered and his millet washed. I'm sure he does. Hearing's one thing. Let's hope he answers them. I wonder who's been impersonating me. Be the ghost camp. Drank every drop. Still warm. He was here, maybe watching something. I should wait, see if he comes back. Movement near the camp. Bandits. You must be the ghost. Are you stealing sake? More thief than samurai. Don't hit those barrels. Where are you running off to? Better catch up. Time to meet the ghost. Peaceful ride. All right, ghost. Let's see if you've left a trail. Tracks. Clumsy. Enough. Ah. I'm looking for the ghost. You and half the island. But we found him first. This little rat shit owes us a fortune. He owes me more. One day, boy. Then we start snipping off toes. So you're the hero everyone's talking about. Oh, oh, oh no. I, I'm not the ghost. But I do work for him. There we were, fighting to save Iki Island, when those dead fox bandits attacked us, took the ghost prisoner. <sighs> Where do they take him? Their camp, just west of here. I've got one day to pay them back. No, stay out of trouble. I will find your master. 
I have some questions for the ghost of Iki. is free! Go! All right. You? Lord Sakai! Get me out of here! You're pretending to be the ghost. A respectful tribute. Respectful? I should have known you were behind this. I'm sorry, Lord Sakai. With Mongols everywhere, I... I couldn't take it anymore. Then I heard this icky smuggler was prepping a one-way trip to the mainland. I had to get out! And you didn't say goodbye. You're always so busy! If you were so eager to escape, how did you end up like this? I got caught sneaking aboard the smuggler's ship. When word got out that I was stranded on Iki, some very bad locals hunted me down. Tried to rob me! Did you rob them first? Skimmed profits and Sarasaka never hurt anybody. So you're the most hated man on Iki. Half the island wants you dead, the other half you owe money. Am I close? Lucky guess. That doesn't explain the ghost act. The people here hate me. But as the ghost, I could inspire the locals, rob the lowlifes, and... and... And buy your way to the mainland. Everybody wins! I should leave. Let you deal with this mess. Ah, but the ghost wouldn't do that, right? <sighs> Hold still. Uh, mm, arms are still asleep. Wake them up. I'll escort you to the campsite, but that's it. Ghost of Iki, you're on your own. Wait, wait, wait! You can't leave me here. Everyone on this island is out to get me. What about your recruit? You met Vugu. Is he all right? He nearly lost his head trying to pay your ransom. <sighs> He's just a fisherman. The kid needs me. Help me find Vugu, and I'll be out of your hair. I promise. Oh, he better be close. We agreed on a meeting place nearby. In case we were split up. Lead the way. I thought you only had eyes for Tsushima. What brings you to Iki? I came here with my father once. Years ago. Never thought I'd return. When I heard something terrible was happening here. I couldn't ignore it. Wish I'd known about those rumors. All I heard was Iki is safe. Not a Mongol in sight. This friend of yours. How did you convince him to join your ghost performance? The Eagle Tribe sank the boat I used to get here. I almost drowned, but Fugu pulled me from the sea. I tried to ditch him, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> he couldn't resist your charms. <laughs> you can, my lord. Fugu! It's me! I knew you'd escape, Master! The ghost lives to fight again. Enough with the ghost talk, Hugu. You can call me Kenji. 
My friend here is the ghost. Oh, I see. Well, someone called the Viper has a message for the ghost. Th that's for me. You're in trouble with the Viper of Hakata Bay? He's the smuggler I told you about. The one with the ship ready to sail for the mainland? I tried sneaking on board, but he caught me. Now I owe him a small fortune if I want to keep my head and get off this island. Then we better meet him and sort this out. You're going to help me? The ghost of Vicky is going to help himself. I want to meet the smuggler who spent the last 20 years evading Samurai capture. What happened to your horse? Nico? I had to trade him to the Viper as collateral. I hope he's all right. Lord Shimura's been hunting the Viper for years. You're lucky he didn't take one of your hands when you tried to sneak aboard his ship. He was about to chop off other things, but I convinced him to save me a seat to the mainland. All he took was handing over Miko and promising to pay ten times the asking price. You should know... The Viper doesn't like people like us. People like us? You know, tough guys. <laughs> What's so funny? <sighs> Nothing. Well, whatever you do, don't push him. This doesn't have to get ugly. Wait here, Fugu. Yes, go. I mean, Master Kenji. It's me, Kenji! The ghost of Iki! We're here to see the Viper! Be calm, Kenji. And don't talk too much. Who? Me? Where is my money? You must be the Viper of Hakata Bay. Who is the Masu, Kenji? He's a friend. Jin Sakai. Sakai? Had a run-in with your father once. Never got the feeling back in my little finger. <laughs> Cannot say I mourn him. My father made enemies, but they're not mine. Good. Old grudges are bad for business. How did this runt recruit a samurai? Kenji said he tried to sneak aboard your ship. He regrets the insult. That's me, stupid, disrespectful Kenji. Now he owes you a small fortune. A big fortune. If you came to negotiate, you are wasting my time. If you're holding out for money, it's going to take Kenji a year to pay you back. That is his problem. And yours. You need payment today to fund your journey. And whether the Mongol invasion, lower Kenji's payment. And we can settle up now. Or oh, wait, and hope he survives long enough to pay you back in full. Hey! <sighs> you have got a smart friend, Kenji. I think we can work something out, Lord Sakai. Those Ego Tribe bastards stole my navigation charts. Maps of every smuggling route between China and Hakata Bay. You need them to reach the mainland. That is right. And if the Mongols break my code, they will learn every weakness in the Shogun's fleet. That sounds very bad. We can recover these charts. If you grant Kenji passage to the mainland. You have yourself a deal. Keep an eye on Kenji. I will sticks to him like shit on rice. That could have gone worse. The Viper trusts us. Now we have to deliver. I think I pulled something when those bandits tied me up. Maybe I should rest up while Pugu helps you rob the Mongols. He's just a fisherman, Kenji. He saved your life. I know. If you want to act like a ghost, stop using people and start thinking how you can help them.
You're going to die here. Just like your father. The Sakai name will vanish from the earth. Your life meant nothing. Stop it. Back there with the Viper. I didn't know you were such a smooth. I spent most of my life helping Lord Shimura settle disputes among samurai families. Sound boring. <laughs> Sometimes, but wield it carefully. The right word strikes deeper than the sharpest blade. Gods than I expected. Maybe I should keep watch. If anything goes wrong, I'll give a signal. Bird call. No, screaming monkey. Shh. Viper's navigation charts. Time to go. They see you. Once you pissed yourself in fear, remember? You hate them too. You're not real. Got it. Let's go. Am I out of arrows? Just in time. Uh, good work. Everything is here. We'll just need a few minutes to check my maps. Then we set sail. What about the people we sent ahead of us? Hmm? Settled on board. But we are at capacity. Have to dump all expendable cargo. There's only room for one more passenger. 
Ready to set sail, Kenji? When do we leave? Soon. We wait for no one. Reza doing business with you, Lord Sakai. And you. Sure you don't want in? I could hide you in one of my sake barrels. It's a tight squeeze, but with a little cooking oil, those narrow hips... Uh... <laughs> I'll pass. I'm not finished here yet. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Keep some of your best sake chill for me. We'll celebrate when this is all over. I'd like that. Forget something, Master? Yeah, my common sense. <sighs> Take my seat on the ship. You earned it. But, Master... Get moving, before I change my mind. I didn't think you had it in you. I'll scrape by. Fugu, I didn't like his chances. It's better this way. Besides, you didn't think you'd get rid of me that easily, did you? <laughs> I'm not that lucky. This calls for a drink. To the ghost of Iki. To forgetting all about him. Where was I? How goes the house? My plan is sound. You ever built anything on your own? I can't say I have. Don't. I'm now teaching myself to hunt and skin hides for the roof. Most boys learn this from their fathers. May I ask? Did you lose your parents during the samurai invasion? In a flood during the invasion, so I'm told. My grandmother raised me, until I could hobble around on my own. For your new home, I have more hides than I need. Thank you for these, again. I should be able to do this on my own. I shouldn't have to depend on you. You shouldn't have to build a house because the Mongols burned down your home. They came while I worked in the fields. I had no chance to save anything. So, I guess this is really happening now. I sincerely hope you don't see me back out here, collecting more material.
We have no food for you, my lord. I wouldn't accept any if you did. Not after what the Eagle Tribe did to your camp. Was anyone hurt? We were spared thanks to Doshu, the monk who oversaw this camp. He agreed to go with the Mongols peacefully if they didn't harm us. Where did they take him? We don't know, but we have people searching. I'll help. It's a rare man who would sacrifice himself for others. Hotoke can tell you where our men are searching. Her husband is leading the group. The men searching for Doshin. Did you see where they went? No, and I'm not waiting around for them either. The monk risked his life so you could stay. I didn't ask him to, and now he's gone. There's no more food or supplies. It does me no good to stay. I can't believe it. It's been 15 years since I saw a samurai. You must mean Lord Sakai's men. Yes, from the invasion. There's nothing here for you to take. The Mongols have it all. I'm here to help find the monk, Doshin. You are? My husband and a few others are looking for him. They followed the Mongols toward the bridge. I'll show you. You should stay. It could be dangerous. I want to help. I owe Doshin more than most. This way. What I said earlier about the samurai? I'm sorry. The invasion took so much from me. You mean your arm? You must have been a child. War or no, that shouldn't have happened. I found a wounded samurai in our stable. Gave him food and water. My father caught me. Cut off my arm. The hand that fed the enemy, he said. That's cruel. He was wrong. No. He was right. The next night, the samurai came to our village and slaughtered everyone. It was Doshun who took me in, tended my wound. I survived because of him. I owe him my life. There's something on the path. Men have been cut down. My husband! Stay there. I'll check. I think I might be sick. Focus on breathing. This man is older. Lokoro. He left with my husband. He was new to camp. younger. There's a mark on his chin. That's Kanaji. He had a wife and children. Do you think my husband got away? We need to find the Mongols, quickly. There's something on the path. This rice. It must have come from your camp. Likely. 
The Mongols took all our food. Let's follow it. What would Hotoke say if she knew who you are? Mutilated. Her village slaughtered. All to feed your father's arrogance. You didn't answer my question about my husband. You think he got away? We should go as fast as we can. I'm trying. But my feet and back. I had to come. I owed Doshun everything. But if I lose my husband, I don't know what I'll do. We'll find him. I never thought I'd have a family. But then I met Kogo. With him, so many things became possible. But without him... Stay here until I kill the Mongols. on the beach. I need a better look. Togo! Is he hurt? I can't tell. But the Mongols will kill him if they know we're here. A monk. Potion. They have him bound. Ready for execution. No. You can't save both. Sacrifice her husband and she falls into despair. Let the monk die and her hopes die with him. Please, you have to save them. I won't be able to save both. The moment I make a move, the Mongols will see me. When that happens... I can't lose either of them. I'll do what I can. Is it over? My lord, you saved me. You can thank your wife for that. Our family is grateful to you. But I fear for those back at camp. Doshin made sure we were fed. Had medicine. Is there anywhere else they can go? It's dangerous to travel. Especially for us. With me being pregnant. If I had known... No, we won't risk it. We'll stay at camp. You have each other, and your child. You will do well. Thank you, my lord. Come, Hotoke. Let's take Doshun from the beach. Give him a funeral.
that would be the end of part 26. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Your support is really appreciated. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Love you all. Take care guys.